Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Puting, and this is the Lay TV Le Max Pro, which is a 6.3 inch phone with a 2560 by 1440 pixel display. And what really makes it special is that it's one of the first phones that's going to be shipped with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor. Now, it's only going to be available in China at launch, but the company behind it is showing it off at the Consumer Electronics Show here in the United States, and it's. Um, one of the first products that, uh, that they're showing here, but it also is part of an ecosystem, including a large TV and actually a uh, bicycle, which uh, synchronizes with a phone. The bicycle will be available in the United States. Phones the company is hoping maybe sometime in the future will be offering in the U.S. Now, uh, with the Snapdragon 820 processor, uh, you can see it's got a very high score in the Antutu uh, benchmark. It, um, uh, not going to be available uh, probably for a couple of months because that processor is still under development. Yes. But Lay TV is one of the first companies to officially announce that their phone is going to be the first, using not it. one of those, but we are the first. Okay. Yeah. And um, if we uh, flip over the phone and take a look at the back, you can see uh, what the design looks like. Now it's an all metal case. All metal, all metal case. case on the front. You can see that we've got very thin bezels. There's a fingerprint sensor on the back because it's such a large screen. We've got the power button here, sort of in the middle of the side and uh, volume buttons up here on the other side. Um, so that's the Lay TV Lay Max Pro, which, uh, if you look at the specifications here, 32 gigs or 64 gigs or 128 gigabytes of storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 21 megapixel rear camera, 802.11ac Wi-Fi. And uh, this particular model, again, is going to be working with Chinese wireless networks, so uh, it wouldn't necessarily support 3G or 4G speeds in the United States. But in the future, this company might be offering uh, this phone or other phones in the U.S. They're just sort of dipping their toes in the U.S. waters at this point. Uh, China's a fairly big market to, to be in. And, and again, as I said, depending yeah. on different market that we've introduced, that's more yeah. we will be altering the ban as per as per the LTE 3G 4G speeds for those markets. Okay. And, uh, and so they also have a, a lineup of several other phones. The company's been offering phones in China for a couple of years now. Uh, we just started in 2015. Oh, 2015? In terms of, in terms of the phone, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'd heard your name, but I didn't realize it was so recent. Absolutely, so. it's pretty recent. Okay, and um, how much, uh, what's the price of this? In, so we have not announced the price announced in terms price of this, okay. but in terms of comparison, I can say that LED Max offers that in China starting at 299 you want, okay. which is approximately five hundred dollars. Okay, and so this will probably be a little bit more, but I wish I could have agreed or disagreed with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so more details will be coming out a little bit later, closer to the launch of the phone. Um, so again, showing off the phones here at the Consumer Electronics Show, as well as a TV and a bicycle. <laughs> so this is Brad. I don't yep. know if you've noticed the television as well. Yeah. The Max sixty five blade. The reason why we call it as a blade, if you call, if you step on the side, mm -hmm. is 3.99 millimeters. Yeah, uh, yeah, because it's basically just the the um, screen, yeah. and and we've got the basic components here in the back, but then also electronics here in the sound bar, which is the upgradable. Sound bar itself, yeah, the yeah. technology and everything. So imagine a scenario where you have to upgrade your television. Yeah. Instead of giving this away for the 4K 4K television, mm -hmm. you have to just slap with a new sound bar, and boom, your technology is upgraded. So all your smart TV functionality and everything is everything in the sound bar itself. Sound bar so you don't have to worry about a different processor or something else. You can replace that while keeping your 4K TV, which is a uh, super thin display, and uh, even the bump in the back is not particularly thick. So that's the uh, Lay TV TV, and, um, and then they also have the phones. So this is Brad Linder with Lay TV at, at uh, the Consumer Electronics Show 2016 in